Hi, hello, this is Jules the Human here, and I was playing on my P-Bone a little while ago, and I just thought I would make a review video finally. Mine's all white because I'm a little obnoxious sometimes. So I just want to give a quick review because I'm a trombone player. I've been playing trombone since I was in middle school for a long time. And I picked this one up uh, about a year ago. And first I want to explain how different this trombone is to other things on the market. The P and P bone actually stands for plastic. Yes, all of this is plastic and carbon fiber. Carbon fiber mainly on the slide. One, which makes it very light, super easy to carry and throw around and actually really durable. I can just go ahead and do whatever with it. I don't, I don't care about it. I mean, I do care about it, but you know what I mean. And at this price point, getting an actual trombone, an actual working trombone is fantastic. About a hundred to $200, depending on where you're at. But this is actually a really solid starter trombone for anybody. And I use it for jazz stuff, really. I wouldn't take this to a classical audition, to be honest. It's not gonna give me the best sound. But for like jazz stuff, for some fun gigs and all that stuff, I definitely use this trombone. Those are all the pros, let me give you some cons. The mouthpiece that comes with it isn't really the greatest, it's more of a jazz mouthpiece, it's a little small, very shallow, and you can definitely see inside of it there. That's not a big deal, it's a free mouthpiece, whatever. You can put your own mouthpiece, you can put your own small bore mouthpiece on this and play it just fine. I'm a real big stickler about sound and you can definitely hear the slide no matter how much grease, oil, or whatever you put on it, that sound's always gonna be there because it's carbon fiber rubbing on carbon fiber. Not a big deal, super nitpicky, it's whatever. And as you're gonna be able to hear a little bit later, the lower tones, the lower notes don't speak as well on the actual trombone slash mouthpiece. That could just be me, that could just be me not being able to play. It, it's not gonna work with you, that's what I'm trying to say. You could probably get it to do it, but that's a whole lot of work. You wanna be at ease, do it the easiest way possible, and have your equipment work with you. Otherwise, super light, super fun, awesome, and I'm gonna show you some clips of me playing on it right now. So yeah, I just wanted to make a quick little video because I never really show off my trombone stuff or that side on this channel and I definitely want to do more of that. So go ahead and leave a like on this video if you like it or if it helped you out. And go ahead and leave a comment. If you have a P bone or a P instrument or any plastic instrument, let me know and I want to know how that works out for you. Also leave me a comment if you have any general trombone questions and all that stuff or you can reach me on Snapchat, Twitter, or Instagram at Jules the Human. It's going to be the same as my YouTube channel. I'm definitely open to answering in any and all trombone questions you could go to julesthehuman.com if you want to know more about me and my trombone playing went to unt for performance all that good stuff but anyways leave a like leave a comment do all that good stuff subscribe if you're new here so yeah i'll see y'all next time